So this is what we call our single leg uh, deceleration drops. This one's a little bit harder because you're essentially balancing on one leg and then happen, happen to decelerate and really load that one leg um, a little bit more quickly, a little bit more intently. So again, start off slow to get the momentum down, get the form that, that position down. Now, you don't want to go straight up to your heel because I don't want this to be like a ballerina act. But if you want to lift the back heel just a little bit to give you that nice little kind of drop, go ahead and do so. Or you can keep the foot flat. Whatever feels comfortable for you, okay? I'm going to raise the heel a little bit. I'm going to drop. I'm going to stabilize. Knee in line with foot. Pause. Reset. One leg. Drop. Hold. One. Two. Come up. Drop. Hip and knee evenly. One. Two. So if I show you from the side, what it looks like is, again, my foot is flat. Yes, my knee's coming over my toe, but I'm still loading my hip, okay? So it needs to be an even distribution to the body, not just one more than the other, okay? So I'm here, I drop, pause, own that movement, feel that ankle motion, feel the knee motion, feel the hip motion. Stay wide, one, two. One, two. Drop, hold, one, two. Now the way you could progress this is by, again, adding that impulse if you're attacking the ground. So what it could look like is interacting and shooting to the ground a little bit quicker. As you can see, it ends up being a little bit harder because now I'm adding more force into it. So it looks like from the front is here. So level one is just a nice smooth drop. Level two would be Boom, get there. Boom, get there. Okay, so that's our single leg deceleration drop.